Welcome. I'd like to introduce you to Noi Kong Thung Phat Hung Ya, Vietnam. Noi Kong is practiced to develop qi energy, condition the body and mind, and to develop internal strength. Qi flow will give us the potential energy that will be used for martial arts or health purposes. Practicing Noi Kong can give us body tone and power by strengthening the tendons and opening and connecting the meridians where qi energy flows. All martial artists must practice Noi Kong since it is a basic foundation of martial arts. Once you develop potential energy and internal strength from practicing Noi Kong, then you can utilize them in sparring. Your speed and accuracy will greatly improve, while at the same time obtaining a calm state of mind. Prior to practicing Noi Kong, warm-up exercises are required. Warm-ups help to balance the body and mind, improve blood circulation, and prevent blockage of the meridians and qi flow. Warm-ups also provide protection against tendon sprains and joint dislocations and synchronize the movements of the upper, middle, and lower body. Our trainer, Mei Li, will now demonstrate the warm-up techniques. First, assume a horse stance. Relax the arms and body. Synchronize the mind and body. Focus on the waist and hips. The shoulders and waist rotate in a yin-yang manner to circulate blood and clear the qi path or meridians. Exercising the waist helps to synchronize body and limb movements and improve spinal cord flexibility by stimulating the joints and vertebrae. All body movements should start from the waist and diaphragm. The next technique works out the wrist elbow and shoulder. This will not only improve joint flexibility, but also improve strength and can even cure arthritis. Relaxing the upper body will improve blood circulation. This in turn improves upper body mobility and flexibility. Hung Ya Vietnam movements are performed in a circular yin-yang manner, which emphasize the tiger and crane style movements. The tiger techniques will strengthen the tendons, and the crane techniques will nourish the chi. Again, rotating the elbow here will avoid spraining the tendons and circulate the blood flow. The shoulders are the foundation of all movements of the upper body. Moving the shoulders back and forth in a yin-yang manner will stimulate the lungs, unblock the meridians, strengthen the shoulder tendons, increase flexibility, and help the upper body movements to be more natural. This shoulder exercise is called White Crane Double Wing. It utilizes the fire chi energy of the crane style to clear the chi path and interconnect the meridians. These techniques also stimulate the lungs and bring the warm chi energy all over the body. Shoulders flipped this way will stimulate the lung. Twist shoulders forward and backward to tighten and strengthen the shoulder tendons. The neck contains tendons and spinal nerves that connect the head to the rest of the body. Exercising the neck will regulate the chi flow that is responsible for nourishing brain cells. Flex the outer tendons and relax the inner neck to strengthen the neck and avoid injuries.
Notice the slight smile, teeth lightly clenched. This helps bring out the neck tendons. In this technique, relaxing the spinal cord will loosen the hip joints and help them to be synchronized with the body and limbs. This will circulate blood and chi all over the body and help build up the bone marrow. Keeping the knees together and throwing the arms forward and upward while arching the back will greatly stimulate and condition the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, some joints are rotated and some joints are bent, and they all should be stimulated. The knee, heel, and buttock exercises are based on the white crane style. In the five basic elements, metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, the crane represents fire. The crane technique is good for the kidneys and consequently helps filter the blood. These techniques work to loosen the joints and improve blood circulation. The crane movements utilize looseness and relaxation to condition the hidden tendons at the knees, buttocks, and ankles. Relaxing and whipping the foot like this will send a vibration up the spinal cord. This will clear the chi path in the spinal cord down to the bottom of the foot and all the way to the toes. Again, the crane style represents fire, which is especially good for the kidneys. The kidneys can be considered the second heart of the body. When exercising the crane style regularly, you can feel the heat develop and run all over your body. In this technique, the knee must be open 45 degrees to open the ocean of chi and bring energy down to the legs and feet. It is believed that doing this regularly 108 times per day can cure minor paralysis. Exercise the other side. Practicing the crane style helps to synchronize the movements of legs, buttocks, knees, and ankles. White crane techniques always incorporate forward and backward movements to balance yin and yang. Once yin yang is balanced, the mind can better sense and control body movements which all fall into the five elements category. In this technique, relax and drop one half of the body. This technique is called 9-1 weight distribution in the white crane style. This technique not only flips the foot, but actually concentrates on the buttock tendon. 
This will improve the tendon's strength and elasticity. The white crane stance technique alternately stretches one side and compresses the other. This strengthens the kidneys by concentrating chi energy there. Rotate the knee. The meridians at the knee joints are common points where the chi flow from the body out to the feet gets stuck. Sitting down like this will utilize the pressure from the upper body to unblock the meridians at the knees. Kính thưa quý vị, đây là chương trình tập về nội công hồng gia Việt Nam. Thứ nhất, khai mở tấn pháp. Assume the horse stance. Heels are opened 45 degrees. Grip the ground with your toes. Knees are dropped and opened outward. Tuck buttocks in and up. Drop and relax the shoulders and elbow. Hong Ya Vietnam is based on five elements, metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, that can be represented by five animals, dragon, leopard, snake, crane, and tiger. These can be simply put as strength, intelligence, softness, calmness, and power. The first technique in Hong Ya Vietnam Noi Kong is a tiger technique called Mong Ho Sut Lam. This technique concentrates on building the shoulders. The tiger is very strong in the shoulders. Noi Kong Hung Ya Vietnam gives the strength of a tiger through exercise of the shoulder. This movement will condition and open the nerve points at the chest and back. Breathing is in the low abdomen, below the belly button. Body and mind are relaxed. Only the pectoral tendons are tensed. Chi flows from the Dantian and follows the frontal part of the body, and you can feel the ocean of Chi. Body movement, breathing and mind should be synchronized. Mung Ho Sut Lam helps to develop tendon strength and bones. Without Noi Kong, a martial artist can at times lose his energy and endurance. Noi Kong can give a person a hidden potential that not only enhances his strength and energy, but can also improve health and cure sickness. Noi Kong consists of two parts, yin and yang. Yang will strengthen the bone and tendons and yin enriches the chi. When yin and yang combine, it helps us to reach a state where body, mind, and chi become one. Noi Kong first uses the shoulders to bring chi up to nourish the brain. After a while, all the meridians in the neck, shoulders, elbow, and wrist are connected. The tip of the head and the ball of the feet are connected into one big mass. Noi Kong helps enable us to observe the flow of chi throughout the entire body. Body and mind become one. It also slows down the rate of cell death, thus slowing down the aging process and giving us better endurance. Quyện lại với nhau bởi chân khí, máu, huyết, khí và thần. Kính thưa quý vị, chúng tôi xin mời việc của Tấn Hồng Gia.
The proper stance is as follows. Buttocks tucked in and up, knees dropped and opened outward. Heels opened 45 degrees and toes gripping the ground. This first exercise is called Mung Ho Sut Lam. Drop the shoulders and push the elbow outward. We practice Mung Ho Sut Lam so that body and mind are stable and we can utilize our chi. We use the upper body to help nourish the middle body and this in turn nourishes the lower body. Mung Ho Sut Lam especially helps to develop this shoulder chest or pectoral tendon. This tendon runs at 45 degrees. Put the shoulders upward, push the elbow outward. Inhale through the nose, drawing the breath down into the abdomen. Exhale through the mouth. Doing Mung Ho Sut Lam, we must put the shoulder blades back and then push the shoulders up. This helps to strengthen and build up the shoulders. This tendon should run all the way from the elbow to the back. With this exercise, the dorsal tendons develop to run all the way down to the waist. When a person does Mang Ho Sut Lam every day up to an hour a day, he will gain the strength of a tiger. Mung Ho Sut Lam produces tendon strength and endurance in the shoulders that can be of great benefit in sparring. The strength and energy come from the dorsal and pectoral tendons. Mung Ho Sut Lam emphasizes the conditioning of the body, mind, and spirit to open up the Hu Tien. We would now like to demonstrate an application benefit of practicing Mang Ho Sut Lam. This exercise helps to strengthen the shoulders and make their movements faster, more flexible and more natural. Tại sao chúng ta phải tập cương đao phạt mộc? Gundao Fat Mop is the second exercise of Noi Kong. 
Gundao Fat Mop helps to develop the tendons running across the chest. This will enable body movements to become faster, more powerful, and more accurate. Gundao Fat Mop especially develops and strengthens the shoulder movement at a 45 degree angle. Conditioning the chest tendons and shoulders helps to synchronize them and creates unified movements. Gundao Fat Mop also toughens the forearm to be strong as metal. This will protect us when striking at an opponent. Gundao Fat Mop is the second exercise of Noi Kong. Ready? Begin. Drop the shoulders and push your elbows out. Eyes follow the wrist with a peripheral vision. This tendon is very important. Lower and push the elbow out. Breathe regularly and naturally. Move the shoulder blades to develop these tendons. This tendon is the only tendon in the arm. Therefore, Hung Yao Vietnam greatly emphasizes its strengthening. Here are the four tendons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Also concentrate on this tendon running down to the side. Drop your shoulders. Eyes follow. Gyundao Fat Mop helps to connect Tin Yi to the tendon. Again, Gundao Fat Mop builds up the shoulders and arms. It improves speed, power, and accuracy in striking and blocking. Gyundao Fat Mop is somewhat similar to the White Crane style because they both condition and strengthen the long tendons on the side and the tendons across the chest. Bạch Hạc Phân Thủy is the third Noi Kong exercise. 
Pull the elbows up past your nose. Pull air from the abdomen up to the chest while inhaling. Then exhale by compressing the chest. This movement will build up the frontal chest bone and enable it to withstand a powerful punch. Bakhak Phan Thoi yanks the shoulder blades back through the use of the blade tendon. Bakhak Phan Thoi develops the chest and fills it with air and chi energy. The tendons of the shoulder blade will stimulate the meridians and stimulate chi flow along the spinal cord. There are two important pressure points, Fei Yu and Fen Zhu. Stimulating these helps us to maintain a healthy body. Bakhak Phan Thoi is the third movement. Yank the shoulder back, then drop and relax. Energy flows from the chest, Din Tian and Tin Yi, out to the shoulders and can be used for blocking. In a punch, there is yin and yang. Elbows should be pushed outward and pulled backwards to develop power for the next punch. If we don't follow yin and yang in our punch, then one of these days, the chi will be stuck in the lung. Following the principle of yin-yang, the body and mind will be stable and calm in a state of equilibrium. If not, we'll be stuck in the mind, chi, and body, and one of these days, the body will self-destruct. In summary, practicing Am Yung Kuin helps us to balance yin and yang, which in turn balances the five elements, which in turn stimulates the chi flow throughout the body. Balancing and connecting yin and yang will connect the Yu Tian and the Yu Tian, which connect body and mind and synchronize the upper, middle, and lower body. Đó, tại sao phải tập âm dương quyền? Ready? Begin. Đầu tiên, phải trầm vai trụy chậu. First, remember to drop the shoulder and push the elbow out. Pulling the elbow backward is equally important as pushing it outward. This conditions the tendons of the shoulder as well as those running along the arm. When pulling back, Develop those tendons that are responsible for contracting the arm. 
This tendon here contributes power in the punch, so it should be conditioned. Air should be compressed from the abdomen and pushed out via the mouth. Drop the elbow and push the shoulder. Pull this tendon back while pushing those tendons out, following the cycle of yin and yang. This long tendon down the waist is developed by the waist movement and breathing technique. Trong đó chúng ta có ba cơ bắp, hơi thở, eo, phải vận chuyển theo. Thở, hắt bằng eo. Trở lại, cầm vai trụy chỗ. Dropping the shoulder and pushing the elbow helps to synchronize shoulder, elbow and wrist movements. Chỏ và cổ tay. Âm Yung Quyên develops the energy in the chest, shoulder blade, and waist. Utilizing all the energy from these three parts can generate enough power to deliver a powerful one-inch punch. This is one of the unique characteristics of Hung Ya Vietnam. Âm Yung Quyên uses energy from the shoulder, waist and hip. The movement follows a yin-yang cycle, moving outward and then backward. Without this, our chi would be stuck. Because of yin-yang, we can develop do tian and ho tian, which gives us endurance in our punching and helps our breathing to be natural. Punching should not come from consciousness and brute force, but rather from utilizing the cycle of yin-yang, because following yin-yang, our chi will be fluid, which helps our body movements to be continuous, natural, and calm, yet quick and powerful. Om Yong Kuin is especially useful to one who wants to develop chi energy. Tôi, đại diện môn phái Hồng Gia Việt Nam, tên là Lý Hồng Thái. Chúng tôi, I, tất cả Lý Hồng Thái, the Grand Master of Hồng Gia Việt Nam, would like to thank you for your support. We hope to see you in our next tape. Thank you and goodbye. Và hẹn lại quý vị trong cuốn băng tiếp, nói và một lần nữa và thành thật. Xin cảm ơn quý vị quan khách.